Hello, my name is Russell Singer with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team, and this video will demonstrate for you how to create a new video class of service for your conferencing users on Avaya or Conferencing 7. All of the conferencing class of service management is done from the Avaya or Conferencing 7 provisioning client. This is accessed through your web browser, and I'm already logged into my provisioning client here. So we'll start by selecting the system management menu from the top. From that menu, we will select the video class of service option. This provides us with a listing of all existing video classes of service. You'll notice at the top of that list that we have the ability there to add a new video class of service. Now there's not very much that we can define for a new class of service, but there are some important elements that I'll explain. So let's assume we wanted to add a new video class of service for users who might be primarily iPad users. What I'm going to do is give this new class of service a name, and we're going to call this iPad underscore high, which just indicates that this is a high bandwidth uh, class of service. And for the maximum average bandwidth per participant, I'm going to select 2048 kilobits per second, which is essentially two megabits per second. That's a fairly decent uh, amount of bandwidth to assign for users who you'll want to use the, the best quality high definition video. And again, that's per participant. The next option there is probably the most significant. The codec class essentially defines the type of codec to be used, whether it's uh, H.264, SVC, or AVC. It also defines the minimum resolution or the base resolution as well as the maximum resolution allowed. Uh, one other item there to note is the aspect ratio, though in most cases you'll find that the class, uh, the existing codec class will be 16 by 9, which is a widescreen ratio. What I'm going to do is select a class E codec class. You'll notice that the base resolution there is 180p. 15 frames per second. The maximum resolution is 720p, 30 frames per second. And once I have clicked the save button, this new class of service for video appears at the bottom of the list. Now this is not all you need to do in order to create a new video class of service. In order to assign this video class of service to any user, you first need to assign it to a conferencing class of service. So what I'll do is go back up to the system management menu at the top there. And this time I'll select the conference class of service option from that menu. From here again, you'll see all of the existing, and in fact, these are the default conferencing classes of service that exist on the conferencing server. And again, at the top of that list, we have the option to add a new conferencing class of service. So we'll give this a name. In fact, you can use the same name that you assigned to the video class of service if you like, which is what I'm going to do. So we'll give it a name that's easy to identify this, this class of service by. For the maximum number of participants, I'm going to select 300. Really, that's uh, completely up to you how many you select. I'm also going to select the checkbox for allow dial out to participants. And then finally, at the bottom of that list, you see that there's the option to select a video class. And from that list, from the drop down, you see that our new video class of service is listed there at the bottom. So I'll go ahead and select that. Once I do, you'll notice that video is now enabled for this conferencing class of service, and it gives me similar details to what we saw in the video class of service page about this, uh, this video class here. So once I click save, this new video class of service will become available for assignment to my users. Now let's assume I already have an existing user that I want to assign this video class of service to. In order to do that, I would go up from here, I would go up to the user management menu at the top, and select the search users option. And I'll go ahead and enter the extension number of a user that I've previously created, then click the search button. From here, I'll select the login name that's over on the left. I'll just click that with my mouse. This opens up some details about that user. And from here, I'll se select the actions tab, which is on the far right. And then you'll need to click the conferencing link that's listed there. And here we are. This is the conferencing profile assigned to this user. You'll notice that one of the first options there is actually the conference class of service as well. It's assigned to this user. 
So what I'll do is drop the list down there. You see my new conferencing class of service. So I will just select that. And once I do, you see that automatically all of the other fields there are filled in with the new details for that conferencing class of service, as well as the video class of service that was associated with it. So once I click Save, these changes take effect immediately for this user. And now our user has new, a new video class of service assigned to them. Thank you for your time today. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.